last time I counted, which is a while back, I've had something like 38 jobs. I've done everything. I've done like painting. I did wallpapering. I sold Kirby vacuums for one day and someone pulled a gun on me. So I like never did that again. Finding the balance has been the only way that this whole like crazy life of mine has worked. It got to the point with highlining where I just started having these decisions I was having to make. My friends would ask me if I could do a project and I'm like, I just got this sick job that's paying me like an adult salary and that feels really good. But then one day I was sitting at my desk and I started drifting off daydreaming a little bit. And I saw myself sitting at that desk like 20 years from that day. And all of my opportunities to do all the cool shit were pretty much over. I finally ended up calling my brother and my brother's response was actually really cool. He said, no matter how old you are, you can always find a job, but you can never go back to potentially being a professional highliner. Why don't you just do it? So I went to my boss's uh, office that day and I quit. <laughs> You can do what you want to do in your life. You just have to actually commit to it and, and quit pretending. There was a point when I drove across the country for like a summer job. I was trying to do two things, you know, I was trying to highline and work and highline and work. It taught me a lot of things. The biggest thing it taught me was you can't try to master two things. If you put all your energy towards one thing, you're either gonna make it or you're gonna let it kill you. And thankfully, you know, it hasn't killed me yet. Highlining is essentially tightrope walking, but it's a flat rope. And instead of being super tensioned, like a, a traditional high wire or a tightrope is very, very tight, as opposed to our lines, which are a couple hundred pounds of tension. So one of the things I like doing the most is called surfing, where you manipulate the line to actually push left to right, and then you bounce it on the apexes so that your, your surf gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and you push and push and push until, you know, you either fall or if you can calm down the surf, but most people just push and push until you, until you fall. Yeah, it's really, really fun. Balance is a few things. There's like f the physicality of balance, but then there's also, you know, like balancing your life. If I have imbalance in my life, it's actually really hard for me to highline. Anything that's not in harmony with you, with your soul, it's right there. <laughs> If you're truly on a mission to find your calling or to find your true joy, whatever that is, you're not being true to yourself if you stay at a job that you don't like or if you stay in a situation that doesn't serve you and serve those around you. I feel like I can be my whole life. I can be. And I'm never going to look in the rearview mirror and be like, oh, yeah, those were the good old days. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a legend my whole life.